If you were born with cystic fibrosis in the 1950s and managed to live well into middle age, well, you have defied huge odds. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how one such patient managed to do that, and he's become a role model for others. That's right, Dick and Christine. You know, when Jerry Cahill was born, average lifespan for a cystic fibrosis patient was just late teens. Today, it's still less than age 40, but Jerry is about to celebrate his 60th birthday. Getting there has taken remarkable discipline and a double lung transplant. I remember the hearing, overhearing the doctor saying to my parents that you're lucky if Jerry makes it till the 16th birthday. That was state-of-the-art in the late 60s when Jerry Cahill was first diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. So his father thought Jerry should spend as much time as possible with his brothers, which meant sports. <laughs> These scenes are from the documentary Up for Air that shows Jerry's lifelong devotion to athletics. Following Jerry on a typical day can be exhausting, but it's what he credits with keeping him alive with a disease that progressively destroys the lungs. People with CF produce excessive amounts of mucus, and the mucus is very thick. Because the mucus is so thick, it doesn't really move. And that mucus is a breeding ground for bacteria, leading to pneumonia and eventual death. I was fortunate through a lot of my exercise and nutrition and positive attitude that I was able to slow it down a little more. It's also taken extraordinary discipline. Jerry takes dozens of medications on a round-the-clock schedule. Some have to be inhaled. Some are IVs. He uses a special vest that pounds his chest to loosen the mucus in his lungs. But it's a losing battle. Four years ago, Jerry needed a double lung transplant. Then it was back to exercise. Your lungs to me are like muscles and you need to take care of them and exercise. Today, Jerry works at the Boomer Esiason Foundation for Cystic Fibrosis, hoping to inspire CF patients to keep fighting so they can also defy the odds. People that I grew up with in the hospital, um, you know, they're, they're gone. Um, you know, I'm blessed and I'm fortunate that I'm still around and it's, it's difficult. Now, only a little more than half of lung transplant patients survive as long as Jerry has after their transplant. And his pulmonary function, I'm pretty sure, is better than mine. Again, defying the odds with exercise and discipline. Now, he still has cystic fibrosis affecting other parts of his body. The lungs are clear from cystic fibrosis, but sometimes it's rejection that gets those yeah. lungs. And, and you're talking about a lifespan generally only the 30s, right? Roughly? Late 30s at this point. And yeah. he's still going, wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Not allowing him to define Tough him, guy. right? Thank Tough you. Guy. Thanks, Max.